Hello, this is Henry Silverman, and in this short video, I'd like to show you how to use the course planning tool that I uh, sent everyone who is participating in the diploma program. This tool will help people develop the syllabi and, and also upload all the files that they plan to use um, in, in the course. So let's, um, let's get started. Uh, the first thing you need to do um, is, is to, if you haven't already, is to download um, Google Drive on your computer. So if you type in Google Drive in, in, the, um, uh, in the search column and, and you get these results, and all you have to do is click on Google Drive and since I'm already logged into my account, it goes automatically to my account. So the next thing you need to know is that when you get um, the um, <clears throat> the email from me, which you have already gotten, that contains the planning tool, if you're logged into your Google Drive, then all you have to do is click on Open in Sheets, and then the course planning tool is right there already in your Google Drive. So let me go back to my Google Drive and show you what's going on. So just to make my drive look a little simple, uh, so if I already made a folder here called Heliopolis Syllabus, let me click on that and let me click on copy of generic course development planning tool over here, but before I do that, what I want to do is to create a folder, a new folder, and I could call it um, <coughs> um, Research Methods Course, and I create that, and I have that over here, and then all I want to do is to take that and put that in that folder and you'll see why I'm doing this in just a few minutes. So now if I click on this folder I have this um, generic course development um, planning tool and if I click on this so here I have it and let me go over this planning tool here is the weekend topics this is content that you upload it could be uh, files of articles or, or web resources. This is content that's generated by the instructor. This is a column showing how you propose to create engagement with the students, for example, a, a discussion forum or maybe a, a webinar. And this column here shows how you propose to assess what the students have learned for that week, for example, a quiz or a written assignment. So let me um, <clears throat> um, show you how how this could work. So let's say let's say I want to um, have a file here, um, for example, um, how to develop courses. And what I want to do is now go back to that folder and what I would want to do is upload, do a file upload and I'm just going to pick any file, pick this file here and so now I have this file um, and what I like to do, let me click on that and let me click on here which is an image of a link, get a shareable link and I want to copy that link. Now I go back to the course development tool and I click on this box and if I go to the top menu I scroll to the image of a link I click on that and now I paste that link there and I type in the name of the article how to develop courses and I click on apply 
and this is a link to your folder that contains the file. So let me show you this. So if I um, hover over this link, and if I click on that, it goes to the file that I uploaded. Uh, so now, this is content. Let's say if I have instructor generated content. So let's say I want to upload a YouTube video um, that that I made uh, for this course. So if I go to my YouTube and if I go to uh, yes, research ethics and I have here um, developing courses and research ethics. Here I go to the share symbol and I want to copy this link. Let me copy that. And now if I go back to the course, um, I could put down how to develop a course. And then now I could um, put in that link to the YouTube. Now, if I also want to upload the PowerPoint slides, all I have to do is go back to my drive, and this was the um, research methods course, and now let's say I want to upload a file, I want to upload a PowerPoint. So let me upload this PowerPoint here, I choose this, and so let me do the same thing. Let me click on that. Let me click on get a shareable link. Let me click on the course planning tool. And now here, let me click on that box. Let me click on this link. Let me paste that link there. And how to develop courses, PowerPoint. Let me do apply. And now I've linked it. So, also, so now if I want to see that PowerPoint, I click on that, and there's the PowerPoint. So, and here, let's say um, I want to show what I'm going, what activity I'm going to propose for engagement. So, I'm going to propose a discussion forum. Um, forum. 1.1 and now what I would like to do is add a link to the question that I'm going to ask. Let me go back to my drive. Let me upload this file, this Word document here. So now I have this Word document over here at Discussion Forum 1, let me get a shareable link. Let me copy that link. Let me go back to the Course Planning tool. And here, let me click on Discussion Forum 1.1. Click on the link. Let me paste that link. Let me apply. And now, I've uploaded the Discussion Forum Word document. So. If I want to take a look at that, there it is. And then here for assessment, you could either put down uh, quiz or you could put down grading a post. If you're going to use a quiz, then again, you want to link it to the Word document that shows the questions you're going to use in the quiz. So this Again, this planning tool is a shareable document, so you could upload your topics, your learning outcomes in this space here, and you could add files again for the content. You could add a link to a YouTube. Uh, you could add PowerPoints, again, linked to the source documents, the discussion forum, and how you're going to assess the learning that was done in this module.
I hope this short video was useful for you to start using your course planning tool. Thank you very much.